everybody. California's had a rough week. It's November 17th. President of the United States was uh, here visiting um, up at Beale Air Force Base today. Uh, touring the fire with uh, Gavin Newsom, our governor-elect, and Jerry Brown, and uh, Doug LaMalfa, our representative. Um, uh, the fires, the campfires that uh, everybody knows, it's about 100 miles from where I live. Um, so I'm not directly affected by the fire, thank goodness, but I've had a lot of friends and neighbors directly affected by the fire. Um, it hurts to see the suffering that's happening. Um, the devastation, these fires, unbelievable. They're like a blowtorch. I've never seen anything like it. There's a lot of speculation out there, and we'll talk about some California news it's not what I'm going to focus on on this vlog series, though. I'm uh, I'm going to focus on the state of Jefferson and why we're pushing so hard for a new state. Um, obviously, we're not pleased with the way Jerry Brown's running the state, or Gavin Newsom will be running the state. Um, there's a big disconnect with the Constitution of the United States. A lot of people don't understand it. Um, it's not taught in schools, so I thought I'd take it upon myself to uh, shed a little light on liberty, shed a little light on where we came from and how we got started and how we got here. Um, my prayers and my heart go out to the victims of the both the fires, the Many fires in California. Lots of fire victims. Um, how did we get here? The state of Jefferson is a fight for representation. Why is a representative government so important? Uh, a lot of people don't understand that we have a representative government. The people in government work for us. Uh, for the people and by the people. How did we get here? Um, the problem was in British America, <laughs> British America sounds funny, huh? In British America, there was a problem with a lack of representation in British Parliament. Uh, the king was pax passing taxes and tariffs. Um, requirements and things to the colonies that they didn't like and uh, they didn't have a say and so uh, we went through a series of events including the Boston Tea Party well sometime after the Boston Tea Party um, Thomas Jefferson in 1774 wrote a summary view of the rights of British America and just really quickly inside there, I'd like to share with you a couple of things. Um, <laughs> you got to remember Thomas Jefferson is writing this and, and the King of England is going to see this. And he writes, The true ground on which to, we declare these acts void is the British Parliament has no right to exercise authority over us. The British Parliament has no right to exercise its authority over the American colonies. Hmm. <laughs> I bet the king didn't take well to that. He goes on to say, Single acts of tyranny may be ascribed to the accidental opinion of the day, but a series of, op but a series of oppressions began at a distinguished period and pursued unadulterate unadulterably through every change of ministers to plainly prove a deliberate and systematical plan of reducing us to slavery. And that, in fact, is what has happened to us here in California. We have been reduced to slaves. We are slaves to the government, and they are now free to tax us at will with regard to our vehicles, roads, gasoline, consumption, 
taxes, everything. Thomas Jefferson goes on to address the Tea Party itself. Some of the other things that were happening. He goes on to say, Or does His Majesty seriously wish to publish it to the world that his subjects should give up their glorious right of representation? Their glorious right of representation. A representative government is essential. So that's where it started. He goes on to, he even talks about slavery. Um, and those of you who want to diss Thomas Jefferson about being a slave owner, I'd like to take the time out really quickly to just say yes. In fact, Thomas Jefferson did own slaves, but he inherited those slaves. He has, to my knowledge, never bought or sold a single human being ever. <laughs> never bought or sold a single human being. He uh, hated the slave trade. He hated it. And he took care of the ones that were in his care the very best he could. As a matter of fact, I think in California, he did definitely had a common law marriage <laughs> to his slave. Uh, but he couldn't, it was a different time. Uh, it was an intermixed, interracial marriage. That was unheard of in the 1700s. He uh, was a president of the United States. It was, it was a different time. It was a different time. But here's what he wrote about slavery. He said the abolition of domestic slavery is the great object of desire in those colonies where it was unhappily introduced in their infant state. Unhappily introduced in their infant state. But previous to the enchantment and enfranchisement of the slaves we have, it is necessary to exclude all further importations from Africa. Stop sending them. Yet our repeated attempts to affect this by prohibitions, they tried to stop this, by imposing duties, tariffs and taxes, which might amount to a prohibition, have been hitherto defeated by His Majesty's negative. Come on now. Thomas Jefferson was an outstanding human being. And... I'm proud that we'll name a state after him sooner or later. Which brings me to the Declaration of Independence, really quickly. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve itself, how about one people or person? to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life and all it entails, food, water, sustenance, liberty, free to get those things, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit, happiness, it's not guaranteed. Happiness comes from within. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. In California, the government has now stolen the consent of the governed. That's tyranny, folks. That is is tyranny. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people, me, to alter or abolish it. Time to throw it away and start over. 
and to institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness, prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light of transient causes. Just don't go throwing it away if it, you know, we can fix it, but California's broken. We need to throw it away. <laughs> it's broken. Look at the mismanagement. Oh. Let me get finished with this. And accordingly, <clears throat> all experience hath shown that mankind are mo more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. <clears throat> but when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, Jerry Brown, it is their right, my right, it is their duty, my duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for my future, their future, my children's future. Security. Future security. How secure were the people in paradise? through the forestry mismanagement and on and on and on. Don't get me started. Such has been the patient sacrifice, the suffix of these colonies, which such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former system of government. The history of the present king, Jerry Brown, is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these northern counties of California. To prove this, let these facts be considered, be submitted to a candid world. Facts. <laughs> Facts giving illegals uh, driver's licenses and then allowing them to vote in local and, and uh, national elections. That's a, that's, a, that's a crime against the Constitution of the United States, <laughs> um, let alone a crime against the citizens of California. Uh, to name one. Allowing felons to vote this last year. What else did he do? Um, the mismanagement of the bullet train fiasco and the, the, the tax dollars being spent on that to the tune of $4 million a day. Um, the California taxpayers now have given the government the complete authority to tax them whatever they deem for their vehicles, roads. It's terrible. It's terrible. So I declare my independence. And we're going to go over the Constitution of the United States of America one by one. And we'll break it down and we'll have a discussion. We'll learn a lot. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can make some changes for the better. Give us our liberty back. Give us our freedom back. Make America great again. Make California great again. Make Jefferson. Make Jefferson great. Really quickly, I need to shout out um, some YouTubers that challenged me to do this. Uh, exercise my First Amendment right, which we'll get to. And uh, be a voice for truth, freedom, liberty what it means to be a patriot and uh, I'd like to just thank Amazing Polly she challenged me 
Dustin Nemos, too, gave a challenge. Black conservative patriot threw a challenge down. <laughs> All in the same week. Uh, Steve Motley from uh, uh, Retired Marine threw a challenge down. All in the same week. And they're a little hitting me. Get moving. You have to do this. So I am. Um, thank you guys for coming along. I, uh, I'm kind of somber. It's kind of a rough first video because of what's the fire and what's going on and what's going on in the world today. So hopefully the lighting in here will get better and uh, I'm getting some stuff and uh, we'll do some more of these and we'll talk about the Constitution and we'll talk about some freedom. Thanks for coming along. You guys have a great night. Talk to you soon.